who I just started my taxidermy journey about four weeks ago. And maybe only 100, 200 people could possibly know about this yet, but guess who knows about me? Van Dykes. A taxidermy tradition. Been around since 1949. They sent me their 2016 catalog. I didn't order this. Did they find out about me on Google? I suppose if you Google taxidermy mouse and you scroll, 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 you'll find me. There I am. There I am. This is thick. Beautiful, glossy, colorful photos. A really nice section on eyes. I have deer eyes, sheep eyes, cat eyes, goat eyes, snake eyes, baby eyes. Before I can give this a proper review, I'm going to have to do my homework. This is actually the first taxidermy book I've seen, although I don't have anything to compare it to professionally, but I'm really impressed with it. They have a section on dinosaurs in here. I like the way they categorize it. You know, you've got a really nice layout so you know color-coded, what page numbers. Since we've got the Asian African exotic life-size, the North American life-size, it's almost like a zoo layout. And don't get me started on the tools. You got the hook scraper, the membrane separator, the cheeker, the probe, the pinning needle, the single edge scraper, the two in one, the Matt Thompson cheeker tool, skinning knives, tube skinning tool, eye tucker, scraper hook, super spoon tool, brain and eye hook, and the Taylor scissors. The only thing I'm finding that we're really missing are forms for mice. So this is what goes into the, the body of the mouse. It's just styrofoam. It would be awesome if I could, you know, have a mouse in the same poses that they picture him here, standing up, hunched over, climbing a tree, scurrying into a hole. But Van Dyke's here, they do not have any molds available, or any casts available for a mouse or a rat at this point. They might not be catering to the anthropomorphic taxidermy community. Pros, everything was awesome. Cons, baby eyes, no mouse molds. 